Daybreak. Good morning. Welcome to Eyewitness News Daybreak. I'm Kara along with Greg, Ron, and Tabney. So great to have you all on this Tuesday. And if you haven't seen it yet, rush outside right now. You might be able to catch a glimpse of the moon. It's so bright. It's so beautiful. Another developing story we're following this morning is from Russia. This is video just in from a subway train derailment in Moscow. It happened during rush hour. According to emergency officials, 10 people are dead and another 50 injured. Several cars reportedly derailed in the tunnel after a power surge triggered an alarm, causing the train to stop abruptly. Several of the victims had to be airlifted from the scene. A Hoosier police officer is laid to rest after being found dead in his squad car last week. Hundreds of fellow officers were on hand for the funeral of Jeffrey Westerfield and Gary. He was the third Indiana law enforcement member to be killed in a week. Westerfield was shot and killed while responding to a 911 call. In addition to his police work, he's described as a talented tattoo artist who loved riding motorcycles and was set to be married next month. Police have a person in custody for Officer Westerfield's shooting, but charges have not yet been filed. New this morning, Evansville's two big hospitals are listed among the best in the state. U.S. News and World Report is out with its annual rankings, and for the second straight year, St. Mary's is ranked fourth, tied with IU Health West Hospital. Deaconess is ranked eighth on this year's list. U.S. News and World Report also ranked the hospitals in specialty categories. St. Mary's is recognized in several specialties, including diabetes, endocrinology, geriatrics, and urology. Deaconess is recognized for its work in gynecology and kidney care. Now, you can see the full rankings by checking out the link listed right there on your screen. What refreshing break it really is. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, good weather will be good for road crews because the rain earlier this week actually pushed back work That's in Union right. County. Is that report. Cool? All right, thanks so much, Tabney. Well, busy night for the Evansville City Council. Several members say they're tired of fireworks going off at all hours of the night, and now they're looking to scale back the city's ordinance. The city's current fireworks ordinance allows folks to set off fireworks during a certain time period for 10 days around the 4th of July holiday, plus expanded hours on the holiday itself. Echoing the concerns of their constituents, some council members say 11 days of fireworks is just too long. I've received so many. Yeah, too. The council attorney will research what other cities do and draft an amendment, an amended ordinance for the council to consider. And this brings us to our Facebook question today. Do you think Evansville's fireworks ordinance needs to be scaled back? Just head on over to our Eyewitness News Facebook page. Leave us a comment there and we'll share a few a little bit later here on Daybreak. Okay. Council members also unanimously passed a resolution showing their support for Tropicana Evansville to become land based. Council members say it's time for Tropicana to be on a level playing field with land based casinos. The council is encouraging state legislators to take up the issue during the 2015 session. If Tropicana goes does go to a land based facility, the current dock of the riverfront could be turned into a new home for LST 325, which just renewed its contract with the city of Evansville to remain here for several more years. Big news. Yeah, there. it'd be cool to see the LSC a little closer to downtown too. Yeah, I think a lot of people would like to see it where it's more accessible. So sure. See what happens. Still ahead, the NBA Board of Governors set to vote on the sale of the LA Clippers today. We're going to have the latest on that. And take a look at this cargo seize at California's LAX airport. Make that S cargo. <laughs> You're watching Eyewitness News Daybreak on WEHT Local. It's 510. You're watching WEHT Local with Kara Kirtley. This is Eyewitness News Daybreak. Welcome back to Daybreak, everybody here on WEHT Local. Great to have you on this Tuesday morning. The time is now 513. Well, a chain of truck stops will have to pay a $92 million fine and more than $56 million in restitution. Pilot Flying J has admitted its direct sales group withheld discounts from hundreds of customers. The company confirms a supervisor at an annual sales training meeting even taught employees how to deceptively reduce rebates to make some accounts more profitable. The criminal enforcement agreement also states employees put customers they deem too unsophisticated to monitor pricing data into a higher price tier, occasionally referring to those customers as customer beats. Oh, yeah. I will definitely take it. Thanks, Ron. Cool. Ron, you're going to love this one. The King of Parody is back at it. Find out what's new from Weird Al <laughs> Yankovic. That had more coming up in your entertainment headlines. Year one. It is 526. Welcome back to Daybreak. In your entertainment news, new pictures are released of comedian Tracy Morgan since his brush with death last month. The 45-year-old continues to recover after spending five weeks in the hospital with a broken leg, nose, and several ribs. His limo was, all, was struck by a Walmart semi-truck, and the wreck killed comedian James McNair. The driver is said to have been awake for more than 24 hours. Morgan has since sued, claiming Walmart should have known about the driver's lack of sleep. 
And the Jersey Shore's Jay Wow is welcoming a baby daughter. The LA Times reports Jenny Jay Wow Farley delivered a baby girl Sunday. Farley's fiance, marriage boot camp co-star Roger Matthews tweeted that Melania Alexandra Matthews weighed in at seven pounds, 13 ounces. Her former Jersey Shore co-star tweeted their congratulations. Nicole Schnucki actually wrote, so proud of my boo, Jay Wow. And I love this. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, he's hyping his new album, Mandatory Fun. It's releasing eight new videos over eight days. On Monday, he channeled Pharrell with Tacky, which is a parody of Oscar-nominated Happy. Weird Al enlisted famous faces, Eric Stone Street, Kristen Shaw, and Jack Black to call out hipsters, twerkers, and people who wear socks with sandals. Whoops. Huh. E! Online reports that the album will also parody Miley Cyrus, Lord, and Robin Thicke. And Mandatory Fun is out today. You're going to go get it today. I think I'll you? check it out. You think so? Yeah. I mean, if it's on YouTube, I'll check it out. All right. We're coming up next on Daybreak on WEHT Local. Israel accepts a proposed ceasefire plan overnight in its ongoing conflict with Hamas. But the fighting goes on, and we'll have the very latest up next. Before we had to break here.